So these are my picks for 30 of the best tech gifts you can buy in 2023. And I know 30 is a pretty long list, but I gotta admit, I'm a sucker for these gift guides. Like I watch them, I read them. So whether you're trying to buy a gift for somebody else uh, or just buy something for yourself, or maybe you just wanna see what tech I'm interested in, these spin a whole different price range going from very, very cheap things to very, very expensive things. And I kinda wanna break this down based on categories. So the first one is for like bedroom and, and desk stuff. And kicking this list off with number 30, this is the Tidbit or Tidbite screen. Uh, and it can show you so many different things. A cool little decoration for an office or a desk that can show you stock prices, your YouTube subscriber count, the weather, uh, just literally anything you want. The app has endless options and you can cycle through things based on different times of day, different times of the week. Moving on to number 29, this is a 3D printer. This is the Ender 3 Pro, the one that I personally use. I studied engineering and so for me, like having a 3D printer was a no brainer. It's so fun, I use it all the time. You can make little things that are useful or big things or fix things around the house or like whatever you wanna do, there's so much stuff you could do with this. You don't even have to be good at designing, you could just download models and put them on an SD card and have this print them. A great gift that I recommend for basically everybody is this little Anchor MagSafe stand. And it does a lot. So on the bottom, we've got a wireless charging pad for literally anything. We have a MagSafe battery pack that also doubles as a charger when it's on the stand. So I have this on my desk, set my iPhone on there. It literally never dies because I'm always topping it off at my desk. For anybody who loves colored lights, Philips Hue is an obvious gift. Of course, you can buy Hue bulbs for cheaper, but if you have a little extra cash, the Hue Gradient Floor Lamp is absolutely amazing. It pairs with TVs or stereos to match like the movie or whatever you're watching. Or another option is just to kind of cycle through like simulate a sunrise or just show different colors. It really sets a whole room ambiance. But if you're buying a gift for somebody who has a lot of Hue lamps, then the next one solves a huge problem I guarantee they're facing. And that is when you have Hue bulbs, you can't actually control them without having the app unless you buy the Lutron Aurora, which mounts on any wall switch and essentially allows you to either turn the bulb on or off or dim it. So I have the app, my wife doesn't, and she can still control all of our lights in the room very intuitively with that product. The last one in this category, I've made multiple videos about this. This is the Samsung Freestyle, as we can see right here, a small portable projector that can shine on any wall or any surface. It'll automatically focus, automatically adjust in Keystone. You can shine it on a ceiling in your bedroom. You can have a projector screen. You can play games on this. You can do so many different things. You could just simulate like a window in a room for a party such a cool product and there's really nothing else out there like it. It also has speakers on there, so it's an all-in-one unit that connects to Wi-Fi. Moving on to the next category of health tech, the first one here is the Aura Ring. Now this is the one I've been wearing, the Aura Gen 3 Horizon, and it actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Best Buy. So you can buy this Aura Ring Horizon at Best Buy or actually any of the products I'm showing you in this video from Best Buy. I'll have links down in the description below. But the Aura Ring, I wanted to mention for this specifically because it does have a cool promotion. But before that promotion, let's talk about the Aura Ring. The Aura Ring comes in six different colors and there are two kind of minimalist designs. Like I said, this one is the Horizon, so it doesn't have a flat spot. It's really, there's a little tiny indent on one side, but I like wearing the Aura Ring because personally, I'm not the biggest fan of sleeping with a watch on and this, it actually tracks your sleep more accurately than most smartwatches out there because watches are big and they move around and, and your wrist is really hard to keep something in one spot, whereas your, your finger, you can spin it around and it's still on your finger. So it's not going to lose contact with your finger. It's really great for tracking your heart rate, your body temperature trends, your blood oxygen, your movement, your respiration, your heart rate variability. It has a lot of biometrics it tracks and it summarizes your health in a very intuitive way within the app. So the big one, of course, is going to be sleep tracking. It could also do things like detect sickness early. And another thing that I know a lot of people who actually do this is you could either prevent or plan and pregnancy with the Natural Cycles app, which is powered by Aura, measuring your temperature trends. You also have a long battery life on here, getting five days per charge. And unlike most watches out there, you don't have distractions. So you don't have a bright screen, you don't have vibrations on here. It's subtle, like it, this can track everything, charge it once a week, and like you barely even notice it's on your hand. And like I said, in the app, you have five different tabs. So the first one's home, which is just like a general idea of your health. 
You have your readiness score, your sleep score, your activity score, and then the explore page, which can suggest different like health improvements and things like that. So the Aura Ring makes for a really good gift for yourself, your partner, or anybody else that you know. And Best Buy, uh, like I said, the sponsor of today's video, made it really easy to do that by bundling a gift card with the sizing kit. So if you don't know somebody's exact size, you can buy that sizing kit. You also get a gift card when you buy it, so it's basically free. And then once you have their size, you can get them this ring. And in addition, it also comes with a one month membership trial. After that, it's $5.99 a month. So check out the link below. And thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. Moving along with the other two health tech products I have, one of them is a massage gun. This thing is so useful. Uh, if you work out a lot, you'll probably use it. But if you have a partner, uh, you'll probably be having them massage your back when you're laying in bed at night. It's just such a good thing to have. And this one's definitely more of like a nerd thing. I'm a huge fan of this, but I know a lot of people would probably never buy it, but this is a smart air quality meter. To me, it's so interesting to track like CO2 levels in my bedroom, in my office, and kind of make sure I'm always at a good level, uh, as well as like the air quality index and things like that. But like I said, this, this one's not for everybody. Moving on to a category that I think everybody can get on board with. These are products for anybody who likes music. The first three are different pairs of earbuds. The cheapest one is going to be the Galaxy Buds FE. They're not the cheapest one on the market, but they're the cheapest one that I think makes a really solid gift, uh, especially for any Android user. If they're Apple users, these wouldn't be ideal. And instead I would recommend the Anchor Soundcore Liberty 4NC earbuds. But for Android users, the Galaxy Buds are awesome because they give you really great active noise cancellation. And when you trade in literally any pair of earbuds, even some cheap wired ones, you can get $25 off, which brings them to about $75. Moving to a mid-tier pair of earbuds, where do they go? Set them around here somewhere. These, even though they're priced like a mid-tier pair of earbuds, are really almost more of a flagship. They have multi-point connectivity, so you can connect to your laptop and your phone and just switch seamlessly. They have great sound, a really cool aesthetic here, and just across the board are just a solid pair, no matter what device you're using, Apple or Android. And then for a more premium option, the Sony WF-1000X Mark V earbuds, Annoying name, I know, but the earbuds, I promise, are anything but annoying. These are fantastic, with among the best active noise cancellation on the market, arguably the best, depending on how you test them. They have great sound quality, they have every feature you would want, as well as a lot more in the app. Like, Sony just does it right with earbuds. But, if you want to share your sound, we've got some options for speakers as well. I've got the next four options, I think next four things on this list are speakers. The first one is a tiny speaker. This is the Sony XB100. Great for putting in your pocket, hooking on a backpack, just taking it to like anywhere you want to hang out in a casual environment. Moving up to a slightly larger size, I'm a huge fan of the Bose SoundLink Flex. This speaker gives you big sound. It also sounds really clean. For how small this speaker is, I don't know what Bose did here, but they absolutely nailed it with the sound quality on this speaker. Okay, you're probably gonna like this one. It's a little bit expensive, so maybe this isn't the best gift for everybody out there, but if you can afford it, I promise you won't regret buying this. This, well, maybe you will. I don't know, I hope you won't. This is the Sony XV800. This thing is absolutely massive. It's a huge speaker, great for parties. It has a cool LED strip on the top that matches your music. You can also customize that in the app, and, what I, uh, okay, I gotta admit, I started doing this recently, when I have friends over, like, have a party or whatever, um, you can do karaoke on this. Like, you, it's really loud, and you can plug in a microphone on the back, and on the top, there's, like, a little slot where you can set a tablet or a phone, so just using YouTube, you can make this into a full karaoke machine. I, I thought it was gonna be popular for, like, maybe 30 minutes to an hour when I first brought it out at this one party, uh, and it ended up being, like, five hours. Like, we went to bed at three o'clock in the morning, because people were just doing karaoke all night. So it's awesome. This is a really cool machine, um, the Sony XV800. But kind of flipping it around on that, there's two other speakers I'd recommend. One, if you're looking for a smart speaker, I am so picky about smart speakers. Like Google Assistant is kind of the one that I need in my kitchen. And so for me, I've been actually using the Pixel tablet, which is great so I can like take it around and use it as a normal tablet or set it there bring up recipes, and just use it as like a kitchen tablet slash smart speaker. Yeah, I feel like I've been talking about speakers for a pretty long time now, I promise this is the last one, but it's a really cool one. This is kind of just like extra little mention here for anybody who likes to 
go camping, but also listen to music. So if you're like way far away from other people and you want to have music there, uh, or if you're going to music festivals, that's another, that's where I use this one actually. This is the MIFA wild camping speaker. So it's, it's a lantern, like it's a regular lantern. It can actually change from like a warm to a cool color but it also doubles as a speaker, and I think you can charge your phone on here as well. But I guess that kind of segues me really well into the next section of travel and outdoors. So if you're doing glamping, like if you pull up your car and you want to sleep in a tent and, and you want to have like a fan and a charger and like all this other powered stuff, then I have to recommend this, this thing right here. So this is the Blue Eddy PS72. Uh, this thing is so clutch. I bring this everywhere. If you're camping and you want to have like a fan all night because it's the middle of July, boom, you plug it into this. If you want to charge your phone overnight, you don't even have to bring like an adapter. You just plug directly in USB type C. It also doubles on the back as a flashlight. So it's really great in your car if you want to like have this as an emergency device. Again, I also carry this in my car because it charges my phone way faster. Like it's just nice to have this in, a, in like a back seat. I know my car's cheap, don't, don't judge me. On the top, we've got a wireless charging pad on here and you have a lot of different ways you can charge it. You could charge it from an outlet, you could charge it from solar. Uh, overall, this thing is so solid, great for traveling, great for camping, great for having in your car. And speaking of my car, kind of pivoting to, I don't know, maybe a boring gift, but something that if anybody ever used it, they would be so glad you gave it to them. This is a dash cam. I use one from Garmin. There's also a Garmin Mini, so two different dash cams you could buy. But story time. Some places you can't drive, and some places don't have the same water quality as uh, the United States. So I was just in the Dominican Republic last, like it's like four days ago, for my cousin's wedding. Congratulations, Eric. The water there is like, it's not quite, like they don't have the same standard. So pretty much everybody in my family got sick, except for me, because I was drinking from a Lark bottle. I was very skeptical of the Lark bottle at first, but I have to say, after going there and uh, using this, I mean, maybe it's anecdotal, but, but it worked for me. And another one is when you're flying, I always bring this little Bluetooth receiver. I think this is probably the cheapest thing on my entire list, but it's really cool. So not all airplanes allow you to connect earbuds to uh, the screen in front of you. Sometimes they require a wire connection. And if I have like my AirPods and I'm sitting on a plane, I wanna connect, I wanna connect, I wanna be able to listen without having to use like the terrible little wired ones they give you. So this little dongle plugs in, I connect my earbuds to the dongle and then I can listen, it works perfectly fine. There's even volume controls on this. So that's an easy gift for pretty much anybody out there. Now the last in this category before we get into the next one is the GoTrax G Max Ultra. There's a couple other GoTrax scooters that are more affordable, but this one, is just my favorite electric scooter out there. This thing, it's portable, it has a lock built into the front, it has a digital lock on it so you can make sure nobody's stealing this, it has a headlight, has a great range, it goes 20 miles an hour. Across the board, like this thing's just so solid, it's fun for adults, it's fun for kids, it's great for commuting. Like, who wouldn't want one of these? Wow, this list did not seem that long when I was scripting it. Hope you guys are hanging in there. Uh, we got some cool ones coming up. This next category, I just called general cool stuff. And then the last category is going to be the big ticket items. But general cool stuff, I didn't really know where to categorize these. The first one here is the Polaroid Now Instant Camera. It's not really like a high tech one. It's obviously a lot more low tech, but I've been a big fan of this. I bring it like everywhere I go. Uh, so I went to a music festival, take some photos there. It's just cool to have this around. The next one is an AirTag or a tile. I actually had to buy a new key for my vehicle because we lost our key. And then like a couple weeks later, we found the key and I thought like, this was in the house the whole time. Like I should have just had an air tag on that keychain. So I got one and it saves me a ton of frustration. Like everyone should just have this. Now a product that I never thought would actually be cool is the battery bank. Like something just to charge my phone and my watch. But Shargeek managed to make this really cool because it tells you more information. It has a little screen on it. And at first you might say like, why would I ever want a screen on a battery bank? And this thing is actually really cool. It can tell you how fast it's charging, how fast it's being charged, what the temperature is, and so many different things on there. You can also see the inside from the transparent casing, and it works as a really good charger as well. So it charges devices very, very quickly. When I travel, this is the only battery bank I bring with me. I always keep it charged up just in case I have to grab it. And now we get to the big ticket items. I was, I mean, I don't know. These might not be good gifts because they're all like over a thousand dollars. They're pretty expensive things, but 
like, I mean, they're so cool. You got it. I had to include them in a video like this. The first one is the Segway GT2. This thing is a behemoth. It's basically a motorcycle, but it's an electric scooter. So this, I actually rode this around for a week, replacing my car. I, I got groceries. I, I bought gas for my lawnmower with this, which was kind of weird, but you can do everything with this. This thing is so cool. It's fast. It goes about 43 miles per hour. It powers up hills. Just make sure you're being safe. Like I had full motorcycle gear on and if you buy this, I highly recommend you buy that as well. Something that's a little bit less extreme is the event in level two. I, I think that everybody out there would appreciate an e-bike even like, unless you're like a hardcore cyclist that's already biking like 25 miles an hour, but anybody else who's doing like 13 miles per hour on a bike ride, like get the event in level two. You'll, it's a torque sensor so you still work just as much, but instead of going 14 miles per hour, you go 28 miles an hour. So you get a great workout, you can go further, you can go faster, you have a nice headlight built in, and it tells you how fast you're going. Like, it kind of is the best of everything, or if you're lazy and you don't wanna actually work, you could just use a throttle too, make 20 miles an hour. But the event in level two is my favorite e-bike. Then we have the Horizon Ultra 4K projector. This thing is incredible. I love using this because it has a 4K display that gives you really nice detail, very crisp, very bright, and it also has a lot of cool features like a built-in speaker. It basically is a smart TV, like you don't have to connect anything to it. It has Netflix, it has everything else on there. And you can use this in a basement, a living room, replace your TV, have a home theater, whatever. It's cool to have something like this. But if you don't wanna actually take up any space at all, you can also still watch media and play games with a MetaQuest. Now, MetaQuest Pro is the one that I've been using, but you could also use the MetaQuest 3, which I heard is actually really good as well, and it's like one-fifth the price, so I'd probably check that one out first, but that's been one of the best gifts out there has been like the MetaQuest, there's like a VR headset, and it's coming a long way. Like, it's getting so much better every single year. Zuckerberg's really all in on this. And then finally, number one, this is fantastic for yourself if you live alone, or if you have a partner, this is really great because this is the Eight Sleep Mattress, which is a temperature controlled mattress, meaning if I have a king mattress and then I like to sleep really cold, my wife likes a lot of warmth, she can turn it up so hers is like 89, 100 degrees, whatever, like a really hot side of the mattress, and I can turn mine all the way down to like 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So since you like this video, I recommend checking out this one next, and if you have any picks I didn't mention in this video, hit me up on Instagram, let me know what they are, maybe I'll check them out.